because we will have a, a more general uh, seminar about the application of the Convention and the Protocol to Energy Issues. But there are some uh, specificities. Apart from general issues for all energy projects, that is a big scale, uh, that is uh, normally uh, quite uh, a lot of cost involved, we have some new problems that are specific for the uh, renewable energy and especially for the one form of the renewable energy, that is the wind energy. Therefore, uh, we, within the seminar, we devoted uh, quite some time, four presentations, to present different aspects of the uh, application of the Convention and the protocol to the uh, wind energy uh, activities. And we have here uh, several problems, uh, uh, spe especially related to uh, not sufficiently elaborated background data and methodologies uh, related to uh, especially impact of such projects or activities on uh, natura, uh, natural uh, objects and especially on birds. And secondly, we have heard about brand new problem which is specific for the uh, wind farms and that is impact on landscape where we have heard about emerging problems that uh, provides uh, some new challenges in the transboundary procedures and that is namely about the approach criteria to assessing impact on landscape, and then how to interpret the uh, results of the assessment. All of these issues are related to uh, wind farms, or more generally to energy projects, requires a lot of cost and time, and we have heard concrete examples about the scale of the research that was needed to properly assess proposed activities. We have also had uh, a separate uh, uh, part of the workshop related to uh, presenting some practical experience in, in particular experience dealing with uh, uh, transboundary procedures where we had about uh, the way that can help make the transboundary procedures effective. Another part of the, of the another presentation uh, was uh, uh, aiming at presenting the need for coordinated, comprehensive approach towards planning that would capture all different uses of land or, in this uh, uh, particular instance, of, of the sea, in the light of uh, making available comprehensive assessment. So what were the uh, lessons learned? Uh, first of all, that is important for the successful transboundary procedures that there is uh, mutual trust, good faith in the uh, entering into the consultations, but also a knowledge about each other's legal systems. And as we have heard, uh, this could help even in situations where countries have otherwise some political uh, debate or territorial debate, which should not prevent them from having at the technical level proper and successful consultations regarding impact, uh, transboundary impact of proposed activities or plans or programs. 
What is the, uh, from these lessons learned, what could be the practical uh, uh, implication for the Convention? There is no doubt that there is a need to further work under the Convention, maybe in cooperation with some other uh, institutions, to develop more guidance, especially on the issues that have been uh, uh, shown in the, pre uh, in the uh, seminar as uh, requiring a lot of attention and especially uh, the approach to uh, assessing impact on landscape, which is a brand new issue, not well developed, and which cr may create, already cre has created and may create in the future, a lot of tension between parties participating in the transboundary procedure. So that may well be uh, uh, worthwhile to consider further work in this respect, perhaps elaborating a guidance similar to the guidance that the meeting of the parties decided to de uh, develop for the, another form of energy, that is for nuclear energy, maybe similar guidance for the wind energy or more generally for renewable energy might be needed. So these were the, the results of the seminar. Thank you very much for your attention.